Do you find yourself constantly worried about your child's anxiety? It's a concern that's more common than you might think. Childhood anxiety disorders are a hidden epidemic, affecting one child in every eight. It's a statistic that's as staggering as it is silent, quietly infiltrating our homes and classrooms and presenting a host of challenges for families. Despite the prevalence of these disorders, they're not a topic that's widely discussed. This lack of conversation can leave parents feeling unprepared, caught off guard, and at a loss for how to best support their anxious child. It's a difficult situation, made all the more challenging by the fact that it's often happening behind closed doors away from the public eye. But it doesn't have to be this way. Knowledge is power, as they say. Understanding your child's anxiety is the first step towards managing it. Now that we know how common childhood anxiety is, what can we do about it? Well, there are several strategies we can employ to manage and alleviate childhood anxiety. One of these is setting limits. Anxious children, just like any other children, need structure and boundaries. This provides a sense of safety and predictability, which can greatly reduce feelings of anxiety. Another important strategy is validating emotions. This means acknowledging and accepting your child's feelings, rather than dismissing or minimizing them. It's crucial to understand that anxiety is not something a child can simply get over. When we validate their feelings, we're telling them that it's okay to feel anxious and that we're here to support them. Teaching coping strategies is also a vital part of managing childhood anxiety. These strategies can include deep breathing exercises, progressive muscle relaxation, or even mindfulness techniques. These tools can empower children to manage their anxiety in a proactive way. Now let's talk about tantrums. Anxious children may sometimes express their anxiety through tantrums. Instead of viewing this as bad behavior, it's important to understand that this is a manifestation of their anxiety. While it's important to set boundaries and discipline where necessary, it's equally important to approach these situations calmly and empathetically. Above all, it's imperative to maintain a calm demeanor. Anxious children are often highly sensitive to the emotional states of those around them. By staying calm, we can provide a safe and stable environment for them. It's also beneficial to provide consequences for negative behavior, but remember to also praise positive actions. This balanced approach helps children understand that while negative actions have consequences, positive actions are recognized and appreciated. Remember, communication, validation, and self-compassion are key in supporting children with anxiety disorders. By implementing these strategies, we can help our children navigate through their anxiety and build resilience. After all, we're not just managing anxiety, we're teaching our children valuable life skills. What happens when we try to avoid situations that trigger anxiety in our children? You'd think that by steering clear of these triggers, we're helping our kids. But in reality, this might just be counterproductive. Avoidance can actually feed the anxiety beast, causing symptoms to intensify over time. It's kind of like a snowball effect. The more we avoid, the larger the fear becomes. And this can lead to an escalating cycle of anxiety and avoidance. So what's the alternative? It's about fostering bravery skills in our children. These skills are essentially about teaching our kids how to face their fears, not run from them. It's about helping them understand that it's okay to feel anxious and that they have the strength to manage these feelings. Encouraging bravery skills doesn't mean throwing our children into the deep end without a life jacket. It's about gradual exposure, taking baby steps, and celebrating small victories along the way. It's about being there for them, providing reassurance, and guiding them to find their own coping strategies. As parents, our role isn't to remove the obstacles, but to guide our children in overcoming them. How can we, as a community, support children dealing with anxiety disorders? This question is pivotal in our journey towards a more empathetic society. When it comes to children with anxiety disorders, a supportive community can make a world of difference. It's all about fostering an environment where emotions are validated, resilience is encouraged, and coping strategies are shared. Imagine a community where each member understands the nuances of childhood anxiety and is equipped to respond appropriately. This is not just about the immediate family, but it extends to teachers, coaches, neighbors, and even peers. When everyone participates in creating a safe and nurturing environment, we can help these children thrive despite their challenges. Moreover, resilience is not built in isolation. It's fostered through shared experiences, mutual support, and collective wisdom. By standing together, we can help our children navigate their anxiety, learn to face their fears, 
and build the bravery skills necessary for their journey. So, let's take this moment to recommit to building a supportive and resilient community for the sake of our children and for the future of our society. Don't forget to subscribe for the latest updates on mental health at Glee Glow Junction. We're dedicated to keeping you informed and empowered. Take care and remember, together we can build a supportive and resilient community. Stay tuned for the next Glee Glow Junction.